Dear colleagues, my name is Professor Natalia Lenkova. I am the expert consultant of peptides company. Now the theme of my lecture is justification of the effectiveness of Sigumir and Cartalax application in the pathology of the musculoskeletal system, molecular aspect. Uh, musculoskeletal pathology are the group of diseases which includes various lesions of bones, joints, as well as muscles and connective tissue. This leads to impaired motor activity, the need of uh, endospens and can cause social uh, management and disability. In Germany, temporary disability due to rheumatic joint disease accounts for up to 24% of all insured persons. In Great Britain, causes of temporary disability due to the rheumatic joint disease are in the third place. In Russia, temporary disability associated with disease of the musculoskeletal system ranks on the fourth place. The main causes of the development of musculoskeletal system pathology are metabolic disturbance in the body, insufficient intake of nutrients from food, Diseases of the immune and endocrine systems, bad habits, age-related degenerative uh, dystrophic changes, obesity or varying severity, musculoskeletal injuries, and insufficient or expressive physical activity. Uh, we can uh, see four types of joint lesions. It's uh, inflammatory, for example, rheumatoid arthritis, reactive arthritis. Metabolic uh, dystrophic diseases, osteoporosis, osteoarthritis, gods, uh, secondary uh, joint diseases, uh, post traumatic, which malignant neoplasms, and development again the background of endocrine diseases. Uh, the first is osteoporosis. Uh, it is characterized by the decrease in bone mass and disruption of the microarchitecture of bone tissue. This leads to increased bone frequency and increased risk of cramps. Osteoporosis occurs in every uh, third woman and every third man over 15 years old. The disease is uh, usually diagnosed at the late stage and is difficult to treat. Its prevention is very important, a proper nutrition and the use of peptide bioregulators. Uh, osteoarthritis is a chronic progressive degenerative dystrophic disease of the joints. Uh, this disease manifests itself at the destruction of articular cartilage changed in the articular surface of the bone epiphysis and uh, peritone soft tissues. Osteoarthritis uh, accounts for 70% of all of rheumatic disease. Uh, the next is gold. GOT is a chronic disease that develops as a result of urine metabolism disorders, increased uric acid levels in the blood, and the deposition of sodium salt crystals in tissues. This disease is diagnosed mainly in men over 14 years old of age, less often in women over 16 years old of age. As the incidence of GOT has been a steady increase to 15 causes per 1,000 people. In uh, everyday activities, low limb injuries account for up to 14% of the total number of injuries, and in professional sport, this number increased to 17%. We joined injuries a sorting about 38%. Coaches and sport doctors face urgent task. The first is lead to the development of chronic degenerative dystrophic disease of the musculoskeletal system in athletes. The second is improve the effectiveness of injury treatment, achieve stable remission and reduce the risk of development chronic post-traumatic disease of the musculoskeletal system in athletes. Measures to reduce injuries in sport include preparing the athlete's body for upcoming competition which should be the peak of his athletic form. To solve these problems, it is promising to use peptide bioregulators of cartilage and bone tissue. The first peptide bioregulator is Sigumir. It's a polypeptide complex obtained by extraction from the cartilage and bone tissue of young animals. Uh, Sigumir 
is recommended for prevention and maintenance therapy in disease of musculoskeletal system, such as arthrosis and arthritis, rheumatism, osteoporosis, osteochondrosis, and more. Uh, Cartalax uh, uh, IED tripeptide, alanyl glutamyl aspartic acid, is the active uh, principle of Sigumir. Uh, at the Institute of uh, Toxicology of the Federal Medical and Biology Agency of Russia, Sigumir was analyzed for the content of the target tripeptide uh, IED. Uh, we do a long uh, study uh, how to know the molecular mechanism of uh, Sigumir and Cartalax activity. For this goal, um, we do experiment and know how this peptide uh, regulates differentiation of human mesenchymal stem cells uh, and influence on the secretory phenotype of chondrocyte associated with aging. Uh, so, the first experiment uh, was done in white rats. Uh, in the experiment was young animals 3 months and old animals 20 months. Uh, we take cartilage from rats and do primary culture of hundred sets for a passage. Uh, the study group was controlled without the addition of peptides. Two group with uh, cartalax with various concentration and two group with uh, sigumir peptides also with two concentration 200 and 2000 nanogram on milliliter. After that, we build a cell growth curve and do immunohistochemistry. Uh, the next object of our investigation was human mesenchymal stem cells of the uh, SC5 MSK line. Uh, human mesenchymal stem cells were obtained from the collection of the Institute of Cytology of the Russian Academy of Sciences. The group of this uh, investigation was the same in previous experiment. We do PCR analysis for determinate gain expression and immunocytochemistry. Uh, the first investigation was uh, on the cell growth curve. A cell growth curve describes the dependence of the uh, logarithm of the number of viable cells in culture time. Uh, phases of the cell growth curve is slug phase, cell growth very slow, log phase, uh, when cells are rapid grown, and stationary phase slowing down and stopping growth. Cartalax at two concentration increase the number of hundred sets obtained from young and old rats in 1.5 or 2 times in the 2, 3, 4 and 5 uh, day of the experiment. The same effect we can see for Sigumir in the uh, most concentration, uh, 2000 nanogram on milliliters. Uh, we also investigate the effect of Cartalax and Sigumir on gene expression and protein synthesis of differentiation and aging of chondrocyte. Uh, we can show that cartalax and sigumir uh, increase uh, the expression of protein and uh, gene expression uh, of stem cell differentiation to chondrocyte. This is uh, COX-9 protein type 2 collagen, agrican and co. Uh, also, we can see that the peptide bioregulator increases uh, the expression of gene and protein synthesis of anti-aging protein sirtuin 1 in near 4 times. Uh, also, these peptide bioregulators decrease uh, the number of markers of apoptosis cells like uh, P16, P21 and P53. Uh, also, we can see that uh, Sigumir uh, increases uh, the expression of tumor necrosis factor uh, as uh, an inflammatory cytokine. So, we can do the conclusion that both peptides, Sigumir and Cartalax, stimulate the proliferation of chondrocytes obtained from young and old animals. Uh, this peptide stimulate the differentiation of human mesenchymal stem cells to chondrocytes. The molecular aspects of peptide chondra and gera protection may underline the effectiveness of Sigumir and Cartalax in disease of the musculoskeletal system as well as in the prevention of diseases of joint and ligament in athletes. 
so I want to tell you about Hundra Mix. Hundra Mix is the effective Hundra protector that contains peptides of cartilage and blood vessels, enzyme of the antioxidant system and plant analog of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, Boswellia extract and glucosamine sulfate. Uh, cartilage peptides and glucosamine sulfate restore the structure of the joint. Enzymatic antioxidants and the Bavelia extract have a powerful anti-inflammatory effect. Vascular peptides normalize blood circulation in joint and muscles, relieve swelling. A hundred mix quickly relieves pain and inflammation, restores joint function. Uh, indicators for use hundred mix are arthritis, arthrosis, uh, inflammation and swelling of joint and muscles. Uh, we have two forms of Hondramix, its tablet and its uh, cream bar. Uh, so we have a scheme of uh, application of chondroprotective peptides. In the complex treatment of disease of the musculoskeletal system or for the prevention of injuries of joint and ligament during sports. The first month, Cartalax, two capsules in the morning and evening, 30 minutes before meals. Or we can use Cartalax Lingual in drops, under the tongue before 10-15 minutes before meals, 10-20 drops three times a day. Uh, also, we can use Hondramix one tablet two times a day with meals and Hondramix cream bowl. At the second month, uh, we use the same scheme of peptide bioregulation, but we change uh, three peptide Cartalax to polypeptides complex Umir. It's recommended to repeat the treatment after three or six months. Thank you for your attention.